podcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, the show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. Do you think setting personal boundaries is a mystery? Do you want drama out of your life so you can find inner peace? If you need help, you can take my course, The Guide to Setting Personal Boundaries, on mastermind.com. The link is in the show notes. Take the course and discover there's no mystery for you to set boundaries with others. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 95, Except You're Not Meant to Understand the Mysteries of Life. There are many mysteries in life. Where is your consciousness? How did life begin on earth? What's happening in the Bermuda Triangle? Can you predict the future? There are many hypotheses about how the universe began, the evolution of humanity, and dark matter, but they are only theories. Just because the scientific world has come up with ideas that could explain a mystery doesn't mean they're true. That's why they're called the theory of general relativity and the Big Bang Theory. I'm not trying to second guess the brilliance of humankind to postulate premises on the mysteries of life. Instead, I want you to consider the need to find the answers, the need to understand. Not knowing is mysterious. Therefore, there's a lot more mystery in life than most people consider. The routine of life dispels the mysterious, or it places it in the realm of religion. Most people rely on their ability to reason, to carry out their lives, while some have universal faith that life has meaning and purpose. Many imagine that one day science will account for all the questions and nothing would remain concealed from humanity's understanding of the natural world. But explaining processes doesn't mean there's an understanding of the inherent mystery. Getting information begets more questions, doesn't it? Mysterious experiences cause growth. Science is a process to understand observable patterns. The sun moving across the sky during the day or the moon at night. Humanity's curiosity sought the reason behind this wonder for better understanding. It's the experience people had that caused them to seek explanation. When you watch a child experience anything for the first time which they find enjoyable, what happens? They want more of that encounter. And as they get older, they question what makes that special for them. Why? Because only through your experience can you be. Being, not doing, is how life is lived. And being requires presence at this moment. Your experiences in the world cause growth, expansion, and authenticity. I can give you explanations for the sweetness of a strawberry or the feeling of love looking at your child, but those experiences will have more impact on you than the reasons I would give. See, information or data provided will never bring the entire experience to its totality because the explanation is without emotion. Facts may be what the egoic mind wants to rationalize and plan the next steps, but the soul longs for the authentic experience of life. The wonder of you. Life is to be experienced, and through your encounters you come across the mysteries of life. But you are not meant to be unaware. This is where the tending to your inner garden of growth comes into the picture. When you confront a mystery, seek answers, but seek them within yourself first. Then use your resources to discover more information. As you are seeking data, remember to be fully present and search for the meaning for your heart. Pursue the unfamiliar emotions that may arise. The mystery of life itself isn't something to be solved. It's to be lived fully. Science hasn't been able to define what life is, 
Doesn't that fact speak volumes about the mystery that is you? I am fully present and engaging and speaking with you on this podcast, but if I stopped breathing and died before I finished, my body is the same as it was before I passed. What's different? A lot, but science can only say my body is inert. Now, I believe we are energy called a soul and energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transformed. Therefore, I was transformed. Into what? I don't know. That is a mystery. The mystery of love. Another mysterious occurrence that happens to most of us is falling in love. Whether with a partner or a child, the magic of love is mysterious. What causes the intense feelings of deep affection for another person or the powerful desire to protect your child? Love causes people to do things they normally wouldn't. The logical part of the mind actually becomes confused. It inspires commitment and service to others. Love is intangible, but has great power to have people take bold action. Why do you love your partner? Can you actually give reasons for your adoration? Most people can't, and it's because for many, it's illogical. Yet psychologists are trying to measure it and take pictures of it through MRIs. And although they may soon figure out the neurochemistry of love, they can't tell you where it's coming from or what causes it. But the data can never tell you how love feels unless you experience it for yourself. The layers, the texture, its heart and soul. Love is a miracle and will remain a mystery. The need for understanding. The egoic mind is fearful. Therefore, it seeks understanding so it can diminish the risks that could be involved. This is why many are passionate about discovering the secrets of the mysteries in this world. When you understand that humanity is curious and wants answers, it can seek clarity. Keep in mind that some mysteries may keep their secrets. And be clear that half-made solutions may cause more inner turmoil than allowing the mysterious to be. You must keep questioning. Your curiosity has its purpose in your life and your personal growth. When you are inspired by the awe and wonder in the world around you, it causes you to pause and question. And this is the basis of your desire to understand. When you reach this place within yourself, your ability to seek the truth expands to infinite possibilities because you are in universal flow. So the inner craving to comprehend comes from the soul's desire to return to spirit, to remember who you authentically are, a spiritual being living a human life. Moving forward, experiencing the mysteries. Not knowing is disconcerting and sometimes scary. So planning is how many people handle this disturbing feeling. But understand the egoic mind doesn't know the future and therefore its fearful misconceptions are only in your mind. When you reframe the ego's fear of the unknown into the magical mysteries of life, You can see how you can trust the universe to give you the experiences you need for inner growth, allowing you to stay in flow, in love, and live the life of your dreams. As you become more mindful of the mysteries all around, you can alter the course of your life. Do you need help to be fully present? Are you looking for support in becoming more authentic in making loving connections? Do you want a strategy to help create an extraordinary life? If so, please get in touch with me and we can put together an action plan for you to have soulful experiences in your life and live authentically. To learn how I saw the mysteries around me and became a more authentic version of myself, you can do so by reading my book, Raven Transcending Fear, available on Amazon. Or you can go to raventranscendingfear.com for more information. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. 
If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. Thank you.